So what I came across was we, while we went on this expedition, one of our locations was a, a town uh, named uh, Maree, and it's in South Australia. Mm. Across the first Islamic, uh, uh, the first uh, mosque in Australia. Um, looking at that, made made me, or well, myself personally, made me realise that how amazing it was. It was just made out of mud bricks. I think we saw the picture yeah, around here. Over there, yes. Can we have a look there? So it's made out of mud bricks. Very simple, um, very small, po pointed in the right uh, direction. Um, just to see that made me realise. Um, the importance. This one, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. So that's the um, that's the first is um, mosque in Australia. Uh, that's in Maree, South Australia, right in the middle of Australia, pretty much. Um, but do they do see, they still preserve? The yeah. So now, now at the moment, obviously now it's more for it's a tourist attraction uh, more than anything else. And I remember that when we went there. Uh, we had our uh, film crew, you know, like this and like this, and we're walking. We're walking through, and the locals uh, started like um, getting a little bit sensitive. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I said, No, no, no. We're from the Islamic Museum of Australia. We're just talking. And they go, Oh, you're Muslims. We go, Yes. Well, okay, go, come straight through. You okay. should let everybody know about this. And it was amazing to see non-Muslims in the middle of Australia mm. respecting ourselves. Uh, to explore uh, about yeah, our own. Yeah, and we're there project. to pass it on to the others. So I found that um, amazing um, how how we were pushed to go yeah. uh, pass it on. So what about the Makassan connection? I mean, it's very yeah. interesting. I believe not many Indonesians know about this. So would you like to explain the, us the, about the, Mac the Makassan yeah. uh, connection itself? Um, again, it was something I didn't know of or didn't even uh, think of. Um, but we went, went there to Arnhem Land, top of Australia. Um, we were walking through all the lovely scenery and the, um, you know, obviously the environment there. And there was a lot of, we went to one cave or a wall of caves. Um, they had pictures of, you know, sailing boats. And with the sailing boats, we were told that, you know, um, back in the day, obviously, you know, you're talking a fair bit of, a fair bit of time away, it was um, when, they, they, when the Macassans would wait for the, the wind to blow in the direction um, of Australia. So they would jump on the sailing boat, wait for the wind, or push them to Australia. They would get off, at, you know, at the top of Australia. They would deal with the um, local people there. They would trade. Um, even marriage um, was part of it. And then after that, they'll wait for the wind to blow back in the direction uh, back home, and then they'll jump back in the boat and go back home. So even like thinking of that scenario is like amazing, yeah. um, how it's all connected together. And then when you look at the uh, images on the walls, the indigenous people actually um, explain the story. Um, so you can see that even from this picture here, there's um, a lot of tr uh, you know examples of trade of goods uh, used by the Macassans. Uh, that's obviously glass there, uh, broken pieces, and um, often Indonesian uh, clay, clay pipes as well. Um, obviously, that was preserved. We can't, you know, we weren't able to take any of that or touch any of that. But just to see that shows how much history um, Australia has, and it's very important to pass this on to today's people, to us, and to pass it on to the next generation. So.